family, gone, scattered, all of them, except Sistina, my baby sister. You're older now, but if you knew, what would you say? Mama, how young you were. Forgive me. I'm Papa, too. I need you now more than ever. If you were alive, if you could hear me, you'd know what to say. But would I have dared to tell you my secret? My high school days. Things were so orderly and neat, open and clear. Now, there's such confusion and chaos. <gasps> I was 17. Frida, if you ever find out, oh, look at us. No one has the right to be as young as we were. I'm lost. Oh, Papa, I'm lost. Late. I mustn't be late. Pray no more. Pray well, pray well. For the lad's soul's converted. Pray well, pray well. Yet the time will be no longer. Pray well, pray well. For the judgment days are coming. Pray well, pray well. In that grave, get no morning. Pray well, pray well. In that grave, get no morning. Pray well. Spoke to Gabriel. Very well, very well. Take down your civil trumpet. Very well, very well. Lord, how loud shall I blow it? Very well, very well. Loud as seven peals of thunder. Very well, very oh, well. In that grave, get not morning. Very well, very well. In that grave, get not morning. Saying, very well, very well. Down I'm rolling, down I'm rolling. Very well, very well. Then you see the Christians rising. Very well, very well. Yeah, they live with God forever. Sister Caroline will lead us in a hymn.
My text this morning is God's will. The wishes of man and the will of God. Who are we that God should be mindful of us? Amen. Who are we? Our minds are centered on self. Our hands are busy doing things ungodly. We devastate country, neglect the starving, ignore the old and infirm, misguide the children and rob the church. Who are we? It was my wish to be a messenger to the Lord, bringing the news of salvation into the church and to his children. Now I'm told to arise and go into the capital city and cry out against injustices, crap, and corruption. Mrs. Henderson, your husband's really preaching today. I have no wish to go to that dinner. You, my people, have seen fit to work for me, to campaign for me, amen, and to elect me as a state senator. I cannot say I go without a backward glance. So I say to you, and I say to my God, with a bowed head and an humble heart, not my will, O Lord, but thine be done. $13,697. We've been over these figures a thousand times. There's just no way to hide it. Anyone can tell us some money missing. Richard, I wish that you would just take me home. I'd rather go home. You're upset, aren't you? I can tell. Yes, I'm very upset, and I'm also very tired. It's this, this pressure. And I'm depressed about this hiding and lying. I. I'm tired of driving from county to county trying to find a safe place where we can be together. I just think about this mess every night. This too shall pass, And the church, we are risking its good name. Nearly a hundred years old. I know what that means to you. Do you? Do you, Richard? Do you know that everything of importance in my life happened to me right here? I was baptized here and so were my sisters. I had my first piano lesson right here. My mother and father were married here. And my mother died in the fire here. I don't know. My whole life revolves around this church. And we met here. Remember that you were so citified and <laughs> so confident. I thought you were looking down on us poor old country folk. I was, I was so nervous. <laughs> and then, when I was introduced to you, you were so dignified, so contained. It scared me. It scared you? Maybe I should say it excited. You were everything I thought a woman should be. Beautiful, elegant, passionate. Passionate? 
Richard, are you teasing me? I wanted to hold you there for a second. I bet you would have fainted. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't faint. But I had never in my life felt so alive. And I still feel that way, Richard. doing here? What? Oh, I said... Hello, Miss Lovejoy. I said, what are you doing here? Sis and I, we're just gonna have breakfast together. Oh. Sissy? Sistina! You don't have to scream. I'm right here. Excuse us, Tommy. I'll split. No. You will have to excuse us, Tommy. Come on, we'll ride down to Ernie's place. No, look, I have to straighten out Caroline. She's acting like she's my mother. Let me hip you, baby. She's acting like she's your father. Call me later. Caroline! Caroline! I want to talk to you. You have broken my house rule. I have told you not to have that boy in this house when I'm not here. I am not a baby. First of if all, you... you lied, sissy. You said you couldn't go to church because you didn't feel well, knowing full well that you had invited that little nobody to come in here. Caroline, are you out of your mind? I'm 20 years old. I have a right to have someone come see me. And this is Papa's house. He left it to all of us. But as long as I buy the food, and as long as I pay the bills, I will say how this house will run. Tommy, go. Hello, sister. I can't believe it. Believe it? What are you doing here, Frida? Well, you know what Mama always said. That you could always go home when you had no place else to go. Didn't you get my telegram? No. I bet this is it. I know I sent it. Hi. Oh, Caroline. This is my son, Danny. Hi, Caroline. How you doing? Hello, Daniel. Mm. I haven't even seen a photo of you since you were four years old. Frida, if Papa could have seen him, he would have gotten up out of that wheelchair and walked. Daniel, his only grandson. And Papa never understood why you didn't bring him home to visit. Look, I tried. I, I couldn't, but I, I tried. Well, we're here now, aren't we? Wow! That's your short... A Chevy 57, right, Caroline? That's right. That's a Chevrolet, 1957. And I am not Caroline. What a fuck? No, no, no. To my peers, I am Caroline. But to you, Daniel, 
I am your aunt, Caroline. Come on, big man. Let's get the bags inside. Baby, this is our home. What floor? Where's our apartment? We don't live in an apartment anymore. We live in this house. The whole house? Mm-hmm. Wow, we <laughs> must be rich. No, not really. They used to call Papa the wealthy colored man who lived in the big white house, right? Well, nobody gave it to him. He worked hard for it. Don't I know it? Don't we all know it? <laughs> this is the same old portrait of Papa on the mantelpiece. I'm going to the rink, Caroline. Sissy, say hello to your sister. Frida. <laughs> and this is her son, Danny. Danny! So you're a Danny. Well, in Detroit, they call me uh, Danny the Dude. Oh, well, I'll just call you Danny, okay? I didn't know I had a nephew this big. Almost 12. Really? <laughs> well, I'll get the rooms ready. Come, Sissy, help me with this luggage. Oh, Caroline, give me a chance. Let me volunteer myself. Uh, we can handle it. Danny's strong, aren't you? Come on, help us with this bag. Oh, Mom. Give me a chance. Let me volunteer myself. Well, <laughs> Humor is an indication of intelligence. Oh, yeah? Maybe this house will wake up some now. Get some new people in it, some laughter. It's the same. Everything is just as I left it. <laughs> hey, there was a picture here. There's a picture missing. Yes. Yes. Oh. Where is the picture? Bed spreads the same. <laughs> the curtains. Oh. Books. I always knew you'd come back, Frida. I just didn't know when. Carolyn, the pressure's on. This is hardly the time for niceties. But Richard, niceties are the things that separate us from the animals. The contractor says he won't wait any longer. The lumber company's gonna stop delivery unless we pay those outstanding charges. And you don't have any money? No. Carolyn, the campaign took up every penny of man. I had to borrow from the building fund. You saw that. You know me. I'm no thief. Oh. My opponent had all that white money, and naturally, I had to pay up front. You know, Richard, <laughs> it does seem that money dominates our conversations of late. There's lots of things I'd rather talk to you about, but time's getting away from us. The deacon's board will be asking questions, so I better get back. Richard, Richard, do you realize the position you put me in? I mean, my name is on that withdrawal slip, too. I know, but if I, we replace the funds, what difference will it make? But you said, you said you could raise the money yourself. You said as soon as the campaign was over, you would replace it. Half the people who promised contributions didn't come through. 
I just don't know who to turn to. Well, you're gonna have to ask your wife about it. She has the money, you have to ask her. How would you take that? I borrow money from her, then ask for a divorce. She'd refuse outright. Carolyn. You know I respect you. I love you. Oh. I love you. Oh, God, did you not hate this? I hate it. I hate all this hiding and stealing. I hate it. It's just destroying us, changing everything we are. I hate it as much as you do believe me, baby. Carolyn, stay loyal with me. Our lives are gonna be so sweet. <laughs> Nearly as smooth as your cheek. <laughs> we'll look back at this crisis and laugh. always said food will be good if the cook is able but half the flavor is in the beauty of the table <sighs> Daniel Daniel we always say grace before we eat always <sighs> dear Lord bless this food as nourishment for all those gathered under this roof in Jesus' name, amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Jesus wept. And Peter slept, and John tripped on the front of step. <laughs> Dear Lord, please forgive this child's disrespect. He is young and he is ignorant, but he will learn, amen. Caroline, you're still teaching. Same school, same house. Don't you ever wish for change? Well, this house can't be too bad, Frida. You came back to this house. She's not back for good. I just came back to get my bearings and figure out my next move. And to renew your acquaintance with Eddie Craven? I was wondering when you were going to bring his name up. You know, you took his picture off my wall. Where is it? You didn't take it with you when you left, so I didn't think you wanted it. Besides, Papa always said that man only wanted what he could get. Caroline, everybody wants that. Frida, he's a big man in town now. He owns about 20 buildings. Papa said Eddie was a nothing. Came from nothing, would always be nothing. But he was wrong, wasn't he? Don't play with your food, Daniel. Caroline, will you let the boy eat in peace? His table manners are atrocious, Frida. How did you raise this boy? I'm sorry. She was wrong. I apologize for her. She's a witch. She's awful. Why did we have to come here? I'd rather go live with my daddy. Baby, I don't want to lose you. I don't know, but why do we have to stay here? Maybe we won't, but just for a while. Okay? Let's try. Huh? Come on. Come on, you big man. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Frida, I didn't mean to upset him. Mm hmm. Come, have a cup of tea with me. It's all right. I want a drink. A drink? Mm -hmm. Any spirits? Yes. But you know I don't have any alcohol. It's all right. 
I imported my own from Detroit. Wait a minute, let me get you a glass. That's all right, I've drunk out of cups before. I want to tell you about Danny. Now, in Detroit, we live in a ghetto. Our neighbors are boosters and dips. Boosters steal things. Dips pick pockets. Now, some of the pushers pay kids to carry drugs. And if they're caught, they get sent to prison. Danny's had a few run-ins with the police. But last week, he was caught carrying drugs. Now, I went to the police. I told them I'd take him out of town. So they released him. I mean, he's only 12 years old, Caroline. Just wanted you to know about Danny. But where's his father? Why can't he help? Harry and I have been separated for six years. I mean, he tried. It just couldn't work out. He had all these big dreams, just didn't pan out. Harry is a serious musician, but musicians don't work. So I, I couldn't stand that. I told him to leave. I got the work. And Caroline, I've done it all. I've been a barmaid. I've been a go-go dancer. You name it, I've done it. But, Frida, why didn't you ask us for help? Because I made my decision when I left here. I guess I had too much pride. I am sorry. Oh, well, it wasn't that bad. Whatever life was like in Detroit, at least I didn't have to put up with all this hypocrisy and listen to Papa's moralizing all the time. Or mine? I didn't mean that. Okay, Frida. How long do you intend to stay? I hadn't thought about that. I'm welcome, aren't I? Of course you are welcome. This is your home as much as it is mine. Sure is pretty. Do you know how much a house like this would sell for in Detroit? A hundred thousand dollars. A hundred? That's a lot of money. I know it. Caroline, why are you still alone? Sissy will be leaving soon, and what will you have? Peace of mind. Mm-hmm. Sounds just like something you memorized. Don't you have a man? No, I don't. Don't you want one? I didn't say that. But while you were in Detroit with your husband and your baby, I nursed Papa and I raised Sissy, and I also held down a full-time job. And that's all you have left now is a job. Yes. And that's enough for you? For now. Danny will be starting school. I'll see to it that he, he's in my home room. You think that's a good idea? Yes, I do. That way I'll be able to keep my eye on him. Caroline doesn't like booze in the house. Doesn't like it, so what? I'm grown. One third of this house is mine. And one third is yours, you know. Some things you know in your mind. If you don't feel them in your heart, you might as well not know. Hey, sissy, come have a little taste with me. No, thanks. Hey, you know, you turned out to be the beauty in the family. I bet you gotta fight all the boys off. Huh? I know a few men, hardly boys. Well, excuse me, Church. <laughs> Come on, sit down. Sit. Tell me what's been going on in your life. Well, I'm into ice skating. Yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Oh. No, that's false modesty. I'm very good. I'll bet you are. You know, I never heard of a black ice skater. I mean, professionally. Is that what you want to do? Maybe. But Caroline thinks I'm wasting my time ice skating. I ought to be doing something else. Yeah, what? Getting married, having a bunch of babies? No. <laughs> Get my degree and teach. What do you want to do? I don't want to end up like her, Frida. She's a joke. Sitting up in this museum, looking down her nose at everybody, thinking she's better than everybody else. Uh, mm -hmm. No way. <laughs> I'm with you, little sister, and I'll drink to that. Get out while you're young. You can do it, you know. Sure. 
But it takes some doing. No, it takes money. <laughs> Where would that come from? The house? Is that what you're talking about? Mm -hmm. Caroline would die before she sell this house, Frida. It's her whole life. What about your life? Forget it, Frida. That'll never happen. Look, tell me about Detroit. Is it hip? Every town is hip. Every town has its groove. But I think you're too young and too protected to dig it. You dig? Maybe so. But then again, I don't drink like Prohibition's coming in tomorrow. You promise me it won't? I'll get it. Hello. Come in. Uh, sister Caroline. Good evening. You're just in time to meet my sister from Detroit. I wouldn't have come over. Uh, Reverend Henderson, let me introduce Mrs. Frieda Burton. Oh. Hello, how do you do? How do you do? Yes, I do see a family resemblance. <laughs> <laughs> Reverend Henderson is our state senator elect. Oh. Well, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. It was the will of God and the will of the people. Well, whoever. Uh, Caroline, are you going to church services tonight? The Sunday evening services have been canceled until the remodeling is completed. But I thought perhaps we could go to the parsonage to uh, talk over fundraising plans. Are the keys still in the same place? I'd like to look around the old town a bit. Nobody but Papa ever drove that car. You drive it. Papa and me? Caroline, I'm from Detroit where they make cars. But... It's got a motor and four wheels and drives like any other car. Drive with your pastor tonight. Night, Rev. Reverend, I'll see you later. Have a good talk. I had to come over. Did you tell her anything about us? Of course not. I had to come over. The deacon's freezing out. The deacon's board has called an emergency meeting. Well, what makes you think it's about the money? What else? We're in trouble. This will ruin my... Oh, think it'll be a scandal? This church has never even had a rumor of wrongdoing. We've got to do something, Carolyn. Richard, don't worry. I will get the money. Oh, honey. I'll make it up to you. I will. I promise. Club, only members allowed. Oh, how private is it? I'm a very good friend of the owner. Mr. Cravens? Mm -hmm. Oh, in that case, come with me. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. How much is it? If you're a friend of Mr. Cravens... No, how much? It's $5. $5. All right. Now I'm a paid-up member. All right. Hey, pretty mama, you looking good. Now just get me some ice and water, please. Oh. Hey, mama. You by yourself, huh? Man, go bother somebody else, please. Hey, Mama, you so fine. I just want to talk to you. Look, I'm not your mama. I'm not even your kin, so you go be a nuisance someplace else. You know what? You're some kind of a broad. A man comes up and talks nice to you, and you get your booty up on your shoulder. You know what you can do for me, Mama? Look, mister. You better watch your mouth. Somebody's liable to switch around. You be talking out the back of your head. Frank. Let's go, Frank. Get your hands off Let's me, go, man. Frank. Get your hands off me. A woman comes in alone in a bar. She's looking for something. You understand? Well, if I was looking for something, it wouldn't be anything as ugly as you. So you better get out of my face. Oh, I'll get out. Right out. You got your hold, 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 hold on right there. Now, Frank, you know better than that. Now, get this fool out of here before you get yourself hurt. That's right, with a capital ugly. Mm. Still kicking butts and taking names, ain't you, Frida? Eddie, Eddie Craven. <laughs> Come here, girl. Oh. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mm. I was hoping I'd see you tonight. You knew I was here. God, this is my town. I know everything that goes on. <laughs> How's your boy, huh? How old is he now? He must be what? What about... Oh. <laughs> Come on, let me get you a drink. Mm. All right, just you and me. Scotch and soda, that's what you drink, isn't it? Water. Scotch and water. Two over here. Let me show you the rest of the place. Quieter up here, anyway. Mm. Mm. My God, girl, <laughs> you sure have grown up. So have you. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but you've grown more beautiful, whereas I've just grown more prosperous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's some kind of growth, though, isn't it? Yep. Well, sit here. <sighs> <laughs> so, so, you had enough for Detroit, huh? Yeah, for a while. Mm -hmm. Well, I must say, it treated you all right, because you sure are looking good. And you sure are doing good. Mm -hmm. I hear you own a lot of property now. Yeah, yeah you sure well, made a liar out of my papa, didn't you? You know the old saying, a heap see, but only a few know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nita. Hey, listen, bring us another one on your way back, will you? Here's uh, to your old papa. Yeah, Papa used to say that you were a nobody going nowhere, and now look at you. So fat and fine. I was so young then, and, and so were you. Yeah, it was hard but, when yeah, we were... but uh, tired don't mean lazy, and young don't mean crazy. But if you'd only stayed here, you know we would have gotten together. How? Papa told you to stay away, and it's, so you did. I just told you I was young. Now, this is your first night here. Now, Shirley, we're not gonna spend it arguing over some old stuff that nobody cares about. No. Now, are we? No, no, no. I don't want to argue. Not really. Let's right. party. Yeah, all right. <laughs> How soon after I left did you get married? <coughs> huh? <laughs> you just don't stop, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Do you also know how soon I got divorced, girl? Yeah, I know. I'm not a girl anymore. Tell me. You're a woman. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Why don't you leave this struggle buggy here? I'll take you home. My car is right over there. I got here by myself. I don't need no man to take me home. Oh. See, you done caught that woman's live stuff now, haven't you? Shoot, man, I was liberated when I left, and it's gonna stay that way, so I see you here. Now, oh, thanks for the drink, and congratulations! But, Frida... Uh... Ah! I knew you were following me. Well, I should hope so. Better me than the highway police. <laughs> you know how we do in Detroit. <laughs> so what you want me to do? You, you want me to thank you? Let me thank well, you. Well, no, I just want to make sure you got home safe, that's all. Well, thank you. You know, I still care what happens to you, Frida. <laughs> Frida? Huh? You're the first woman I ever loved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's me. First, but not last. I uh, break them in and everybody else rides them. That's me, that's Frida. Hey, don't be flipped with me, Frida. I mean, you don't have to impress me with your city-fied ways. I'm not being city-fied. I know you. No, nobody knows nobody, Eddie Craven. And I don't know you. I hardly even know myself, man. Hey, 
Right. You frightened me. I thought you were asleep. Hey, what you got there, sister? You gonna have a garage sale? Did you have a nice time? It was okay. Ooh. Oh, you know, I haven't seen this silver since Mama died. Why don't you use it? Keep pretty things like this all wrapped up in the closet. I believe in using things. Well, you have your way and I have mine. Got that right. And what do you got this thing out for? You plan on having an accident? Oh, Frida, do you respect nothing? I'm not sure that a wheelchair deserves respect, Caroline. Papa spent three years in that chair. That makes it holy? Well, you certainly demonstrated how you felt about him. Well, he had you. He didn't need me. I mean, talk about a hand servant to the Lord. You even slept on the floor next to his bed. While you ran off when he could not do for himself. I've been expecting this conversation since I walked into this house. Now, let me tell you something. Papa ate up people's lives. He swallowed up Mama, and then he swallowed you up. So you ought to look at yourself. Or maybe it's the other way around. I mean, you sound just like him. Every dream, every hope must not serve human beings, but some buildings, a house, a church. Or... That's enough, Rita. And now you're trying to swallow up Sissy. I'm not trying to swallow up Sissy. I'm trying to save Sissy. Save Sissy from what? Love, life challenges, what? And look at you. You've made yourself into... Oh, good night, Frida. Not yet. Papa died. Papa died and you did not come to his funeral. That's right. I remember when Mama died. I remember. And I stood there looking down at her grave and I thought about her life. She was Mr. Lovejoy's shadow. What he liked, she liked. What he didn't like, she didn't like. And he didn't like me. So. So we buried Mama. And that's when I decided to leave. And I was never going to come back. Frida, you have absolutely no judgment. Papa loved you so. He loved you so, and he loved your spirit. He loved you, and he showed it. He loved you. He used me. When he was dying, he asked for you. He asked for you by your nickname. Yes, he did. He said, where is Tuzzy? Did he? Really, Caroline, did he? And I was the one who was here. I gave him sponge baths twice a day. I gave him his medicine. I raised Sissy. I kept this house. But when he was dying, he asked for you. He kept saying over and over, where is Tuzzy? Where is Tuzzy? Did he? Where is Tuzzy? Wait, 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 That silver to sell? Yes. Where, uh, where can I put this? Oh, no, no, not on my counters, please. Okay. Wait till I put something down. All right. I don't want to get scratches. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, these are nice. Where did you get them? They've been in my family for four generations. Four generations, and it'd take us back to the war, wouldn't it? Yes. Are you interested in this silver? Some of your people in the war? No, not that I can recall. So many of the great houses burn. Valuable, stolen. These weren't. They were given to my great-grandmother. Is that right? Mm -hmm. By the woman she worked for. Oh. Her mistress gave her these lovely pieces. That surely is a rare story. My great-grandmother hid her during an uprising. Tell me, how 
How much is this worth? Hit her. Wasn't that kind? You must be real proud of that. Not particularly. It just happens to be part of my family history. About this silver. I can give you $200, not a penny more. Each piece is worth more than two. Maybe. But it's hard to sell pieces like that. Oh, I... I just can't accept... I don't... I don't bargain, Miss Lovejoy. That's my price. Antebellum sort is hard to sell here. Memories, you know. We've all got memories. Has anyone said anything yet? I don't have to look. They've been flipping the house real. Oh. You haven't raised anything, have you? No. Thought it would be easy for you. Well, I don't know what else to do. I've done everything I can. These books would just disappear. Richard, please don't panic. I'd like to burn them up. Richard. If there was a fire. If there Richard. was a fire, Richard. 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 Burn... I really didn't mean that. This thing's making me crazy. We are gonna have to face it. You just have to ask your wife for the money. Carolyn, I asked her. I asked her for a divorce. That's right. And she agreed. She left this morning for Chicago. Be with her folks. Carolyn, I want to be with you openly before the whole world. <laughs> Richard, I don't know what to say. Oh, God. No, we just got to get the money now. We have to. We have to make this the biggest church social we've ever had. I'll, I'll call the usher board. I'll call the missionaries. We'll, we'll, we'll raise the price of the tickets, and I'll take a big ad out in the courier. <laughs> Do you know how many refreshments you'd have to sell to get that kind of money? It won't work. It's impossible. Go. No, nothing's impossible now. Enough food to feed an army in <laughs> here. They'll need an army to raise the kind of money they want. Mmm, good chili. Mm. What's next? Chili? Yeah. Did I hear somebody mention chili in this house? Yes. You know you're not supposed to mention that in this house. Oh, freedom! <laughs> freedom! <laughs> remember, yes. remember the time Papa brought home them big steaks? T-bone mm -hmm. steaks. And you cut up the little bitty pieces to make dinner and chili for your boyfriend, Tubby Williams. Tubby Williams was yes. not my yes, boyfriend. He was your he boyfriend. Was your boyfriend. He wasn't my you boy. liked him because he had a convertible car. Oh, yeah, that's right. I used to like to ride in his car and let my hair just blow in the wind, you oh, see. She never let us forget it. <laughs> Chopped up the steak in little bitty pieces to make this chili for him. He didn't even show up. That's right. He was home. <laughs> And Papa made us eat that mess for a whole week. For days. We were sick for a whole oh, week. Oh, it was awful. Oh, it was terrible. <laughs> Listen, stop worrying. I made the chili this time. In fact, I even gave up practice to help Caroline. You know what? You should be a professional. You're that good, you know. Frida, would you stop it filling her head with that silly nonsense like your dreams of becoming a great dancer? That's nonsense. But look, it's not nonsense, and don't raise your voice at me. Sissy's good. If you saw her skate, you know what I'd mean. I don't have to see her skate. She goes every day. She'd have to be stupid not to be good. Would you stop fighting over my skating? It's my business. You know, there are so few professional black skaters that you wouldn't have any trouble getting a job because you are terrific. Thank you, Frida. I'd really like to give it a try. You know, New York, California, just to see what would happen. Mm -hmm. If you go, do not come back. Oh, what are you, God or somebody? I'll go and come when I choose. I am a woman, you know. Yeah, and this house belongs to all of us, so you don't have to walk around acting like you the... What? What's wrong with her? She's so uptight, so nervous. She's always working hard for the church. 
Yeah, well, she acts like a life depends on it. If that minister asked her to, she'd shut her mouth, stuff her nose, and breathe through her ears. <laughs> Frida, there's someone to see you. Well, who is it? I'm in here. Who is it? Frida, it's your husband. Who? Harry? Yes. Excuse me. What do you want, Harry? Hello, Frida. What do you want? Don't be scared. I'm scared? Oh, Lord. I just want to talk to you. What's there to talk about? Oh, come on, Frida. Don't bite my head off. I just wanted to see Danny. How is he? Where is he? What do you want to see Danny for? He is my son. You ain't Mary, you know. That wasn't no angel that came to you in the middle of the night. That was me, and so he's my son, too, and I want to see him. Look, I got some good news, Frida. I got a job with a band in Memphis, a big hotel band, and it's going to be steady. Steady? Uh -huh. It's a good gig. It, it'll, it'll pay so, so well. So you come back to me to borrow some money to get your horn out of hock again. Isn't that it, Harry? You really don't respect me at all, do you? Harry, I know you. You know who you think I am. I got something good going here. What's so good about some hotel gig, some sleazy joint probably won't even last a week? Man, you could bring down Telstar. You always did bring me down, and you're gonna bring that boy down, too. He needs a man around. You should have thought about that six years ago. I thought of it. I think of it. Look, Harry, we've been over this road many, many, many times. So why don't we stop, Frida? I mean... Even now, I, I think about you and about him. I do. I mean, if we could look, just... Look, uh, he's upstairs. He's still asleep. He's in the middle room. Now, look, don't go putting a lot of stuff in his head. And don't keep him too long, because we're all going to a church party. I, uh, I don't think I'd better see him now. I'll, I'll call him from Memphis. Daddy! Daddy! Danny boy! How you doing, Daddy? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> All right! All right! Give me something! All right! How Love you man. doing? Hey, same old thing, man. Just, just missing you. Oh, I tried to call you in Detroit, but I couldn't get an answer. Oh, well, uh, I had to leave town. I had to get down here to see you. You mean you came to take me with you? No, no, not yet. I, I got this new gig with the band. I'm going to be playing my horn. All right. <laughs> Ain't no sense in bringing you along. You know, traveling's not good for you. You got to stay put and get an education. I just wanted to see you before I got too busy, that's all. I'm going to come see you every month. You promise? You better believe it. Hey, hey. Uh, don't you have to get ready for a church party or something? Nah, who cares? Mother cares. I want to see you with you. No, oh, come on. I got to leave right away and catch a bus. Come on, son. Uh, come on, Danny. I'll get you ready. Remember, you promised. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. <laughs> Gotta take care of my man. <sighs> ah. Man's gotta have a little money on his hip. Listen, son, I... I wanna tell you something. I want you to keep this in your head at all times. You are my son. You represent me no matter where you are. You understand? Yes, sir. And don't let anybody ever make you apologize for being Harry Burton's son. And don't let anybody ever make you feel ashamed. Don't worry, Dad. They won't. My man. Yeah. You better go.
I'll call you, Frida. Yeah, you do that. Better catch the uh, next bus to Memphis. Harry, let me call your taxi. Oh, no, 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 thanks. I, I want to walk, clear my head. It was nice to see you. It was nice to see you too, Harry. Harry, it's a long walk. I can use it. Harry? Maybe you can use this too. Nobody in this family ever believed me. No thanks, Carol. I can make it. Uh, Frida, I am beginning to think I was wrong about Harry. Why? You believe all that jive about playing in a joint? It's just another dream, another jive dream like everything else he started I, and ever did. I'm not so sure. What do you know about it? I know one thing, Freya. You never loved Harry. Love? What do you know about love? You arrived. Why don't you look something? <laughs> Evening, Mother Bishop. Eddie Craven. I never thought I'd see you in a church party. Evening, <laughs> Frida. How y'all do? Uh, hi. Yeah. I thought my eyes would pop when I saw you, Frida. But Lord, Eddie Craven. Well, I ain't seen you in church since. Well, come to think of it, I ain't never seen you in church. <laughs> I'm getting religion. I invited. Same time I gave up the yo yo. Come on, I remember you. <laughs> Come on, honey. Wait a minute. Frida. Hey, wait a minute. Say you can't dance the spiritual music. Now, you know that's not right. Come on, get a hold of yourself, girl.
her to stop it. Oh, Carolyn, she don't mean no harm. No, you go. I want her to stop it. for everybody. But especially for my sister, who's done so much to make this a success and who has welcomed the prog prodigal daughter back to the fold. So hooray for Caroline. She's never done nothing wrong in her life, ever. Frida, come on. I'll take you home. Come on. I didn't ask you to take me here. You could have took me 13 years ago, but my father scared the water out of me. You must have been the one he scared. Because I didn't marry a stranger and leave town with us. Did I? How often does Danny see you like this? It's none of your business. You're not his father. And you hardly his mother. Acting like a tramp. I'll take Danny home. If you did it, it'd make me jealous. That was just plain stupid. Connie means nothing to me. Then you using her, and that's unkind. You sound like Caroline. I'm not trying to sound like anyone, Tommy, but myself. You don't want to get married and you don't want to live with me, right? Right? Why can't you accept I'm not ready to commit myself yet? That sounds like some of that women's liberation jargon. White women talk that jive. Black women ought to be helping the brothers get their stuff together. Oh, really? Well, I'm spending all my time getting my own stuff together. You a selfish little chick, you know that? Thinking always of yourself. Maybe so. Listen, let's give it a rest, okay? Oh, that's great, baby. Just great. I'm going. Don't walk away from me, girl. I'm offering to make a good life for us. See, Tommy, that's why we can't get along. I've lived everyone's life but my own. And I'm tired of that. together, you and me? Of course we're together. Good. You know you hold 
the key to our release in your hands. I'm surprised you haven't thought about it. You've thought about it. No, I, what are you talking about? My house? Yeah, we could get a loan and use it as collateral. Take a loan on my house? Yeah. Oh. But Richard, my house is all I have. My papa left that to my sisters and me. That's our legacy. You, I'd be nothing without my house. You know all that. Right, nothing. Calm down, I calm down. Look, when I'm installed in office, I'll pay off the loan. No, 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 no. I couldn't do that. I just, I couldn't do that. Okay. You want me to sell my house to prove that I love you? What kind of love is that, Richard? And what kind of man are you to ask me to make such a sacrifice? You could say I'm a lot like your father. Don't you insult me, Richard. Because I want to make a contribution to this town and my people in this town, and I'm asking you to help me. But I've done everything I know how to do. You heard my campaign speeches. Did you think I was lying, fooling the people? Well, if you expect me to sell my house, you were. I mean, Richard, you could tell me that the sun rises in the west, and I believe you, but God, I am not going to mortgage my home. Callan. Set our affair, our romance, aside for a minute. Forget that I love you, and I want you to be my wife, and think of our people. Think of our people. We need leaders today, men both with political and religious backgrounds. Richard, stop voices. it! Stop it! What are you saying to me? I have never disobeyed my father. I, I don't intend to start doing it now. Then what have you been doing with me? Did he come to you in a dream and said, have, have an affair with me? Don't insult me. I don't think you should... I don't give a damn what you think! In the 60s, I walked in every march and sat in every jail from here to Tennessee. I got so good at it, I could tell what state I was in by the sound of the cops and Billy Clubs banging on my head. And now I have a chance, a legal chance to affect the injustices and discrimination in this country. And you're too much in love with a few sticks of wood and a piece of land to help me. But those sticks of wood are my home. Yes, yeah, right. You let other people make the sacrifices. You just rake in the benefits. You know, in the 60s, we were out in there... In the 60s, I was here. I was right here, sleeping on the floor next to my crippled father's bed, raising my baby sister, educating those children that you were parading up and down in front of the Ku Klux Klan. I... Do you know behind that intellectual pose, you're as phony as any typical conservative black bushy? You don't want change, you want exchange. All right? I'll tell the board how I use the money, and I'll ask for time, so... Don't forget that my name is on that withdrawal slip, too. I'll tell them I tricked you into signing. Don't worry, Carolyn. When this is over, your reputation will be as it has always been. Snow White. Carolyn. Carolyn. Oh, excuse me. This is Burton, isn't it? Is it? <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah? Well, come on, I'll, uh, I'll take you home. Uh, if you mean my father's house, I left that place when I was 18 years old. Well, come on inside. I'll fix a pot of coffee or something. Come on.
need coffee. I'm not drunk. Well, you certainly had me fools sitting out there in the dark waiting. Yeah. I wasn't waiting. I was thinking. I was thinking about all the phonies in this town. You're a minister, aren't you? I mean, that's yeah. your gig, right? Yeah. Well, I need some ministering. I need to talk to somebody. I need to get all this stuff off my chest, you know? I mean, this town, these people, it's worse than when I left here. You know, Eddie walks around like he's the godfather. And Caroline, she acts like she's the Virgin Mary or somebody. They ought to get married. Yeah, that's unlikely. <laughs> I know it. And what's happened to the black people? They stand around the churchyard quoting Bible verses, and everybody's got a pint of bourbon in the glove compartment. Yeah, but that's not unusual. And where are the men? You know, I've been here, what is it, a, a week? And except for one drunk and Eddie, nobody's paid the least bit of attention. I should have stayed in Detroit. Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't give up that quickly. One of our southern bowls is going to sweep you off your feet. Well, he better have a long broom, because I don't sweep that easily. He better make his move soon. Is that so? Yeah, I'm not used to men who move like molasses. I'm not here to stay. Oh, come on, give us a break. We're slow, Are you but... married or something? My wife's gone. We're getting a divorce. Oh, you poor baby. And we're both lonely. We ought to do something about that. That's why you worry about the front door, isn't it? Too much at stake, little lady. Yeah, but that's what's gonna make it sweeter, it's for forbidden fruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about your sister? Oh, my sister doesn't even want me to drink no, in the house. You and Carolyn, I'm, I'm talking. What are you talking about? Your sister and I. I don't want to talk about Carolyn anymore. I don't want to talk. Frida, it wouldn't be good if... Don't worry, I don't want anybody to know either. I'm, it's not just that. Well, whatever it is, why don't... Why can't we just forget it ever happened, okay? It certainly wasn't the biggest moment in my life. Or in mine. Then we're even. Drop me off here. Sorry, I could... Look, I want to walk. It's no problem. Please, I'd rather. Thank you. You're welcome. I wanted to see. How'd you know I was here? Oh, you were it because I wasn't home. You came to find me. I saw the light. I, I hoped you were here. Took a chance. It's the best thing that's happened to me all night. If you hadn't been here, I would have gone right through the ice. What are you doing here at this hour? I needed to be alone, try and think things out. Is it Tommy? Yeah, Tommy. Why do men try and take everything from a woman? Because we act so anxious for them to have it. Yeah. Frida, I'm going to leave. Find a place to live, get a job skating. I mean it. I mean it this time, Frida. Well, you know, I thought coming down here would work out, but I don't like this town. I don't like the people. I don't like that house. I'm sorry I put Danny in school, but... Will you go back to Detroit? No. 
I, I can't swallow these memories down here. I'm gonna go on to Georgia, Atlanta. You don't have any savings, do you, Frida? How you gonna make it? I'm gonna make it the same way you're gonna make it. I thought it would be good for Danny, but he hates it. He hasn't even given it a chance. No, Carolyn, I know my son. He's been on his best behavior. He thinks you don't like him. It's awful to grow up in a house where you're disliked. Yeah, don't I know it. What do you mean by that? You never liked me. I raised you, sissy. Remember what Papa always used to say? What? There's nothing more important in the family of nations than the love and care of your own relations. Yeah, those stupid poems again. You even published a book of them. And you knew I wanted to go to Howard University, and I needed that money. Papa left that $2,000 for me to publish that book. And of course, you always did what Papa wanted. You never did anything for me. When you were a sick child, I cleaned your vomit. I bathed and powdered you. I gave you your first pair of high heel shoes. Was that for Papa? I gave you your first dating dress. I gave you your first ice skates. Was that for Papa, sissy? Yes, Caroline, it was. Like everything. And what was he, Caroline? A Pullman porter who made some investments, saved a little money. A porter caring for white folks. Sissy. Cleaning their clothes, shining their shoes, and damn pleased for the lousy tips he got for being a servant. And he did it all for us so that we could have a better way of life. Not for me. He never even Wait, wait. We don't have to argue this. We're all grown. Now, Sissy and I both have decided to leave this place. We need money. We want to sell this house. My house? It's not your house. It belongs to all of us, Caroline. This is your idea, Frida? You had it from the first day you walked through that front door. I don't deny it, but why do you need all this space for yourself? Carolyn, you can move into your own apartment. You can even buy yourself a decent car. This house will sell easy. Isn't it a pity that for 13 years you didn't think about this house? Well, I was here putting my time and my love and my money into this house. The house was paid for when Papa died. And I helped him pay for it. Don't you forget that. I put a new front porch. I put a new roof on this Yeah, house. well, then before we split the money, we'll give you what you spend for expenses. Now, that's fair, isn't it? Fair has nothing to do with these circumstances. Papa named me executor to this estate. He said that this house would not be sold unless we all agreed, and I do not agree. And it doesn't matter what we want. No, it doesn't matter what you want. Or that this house is ruining my life like it ruined yours. Because of No, this because of this house, you never lived. You never married. Because of this house, you were afraid to do anything. You, you, you were afraid to reach out for anyone, to, to care for anyone. Carolyn, because of this house, you become a dried-up, frightened, uptight spinster. Well, maybe I have a surprise for both of you. Maybe I'm going to get my chance. I have taken care of you and you too, Frida. That's why I could never have anyone. Any man who ever wanted me knew that it meant taking on a crippled old man and a little baby girl. You two have had your chance. Now, I'm gonna get mine. You and the Reverend? What? Do you really think he's gonna marry you? What are you talking about? Is that true? Everybody in town knew about it. How could they not know? Do you think it fooled me? I have got to be at choir practice. I've got to help at the charity drive. I will be late because I am working on the Reverend's election campaign. Everybody knew and pretended it wasn't going on. Just like you pretend you so damn straight lace. Just like we all pretend. Because we can't face the truth about ourselves and how we live. Caroline, I hate this house. And I hate you. And I hate how Papa really felt about me, the way he did, the way Mama did. I never knew them, really, but I felt it. I feel it all the time. And you made me feel it. I never really belonged, not really, because I was never wanted. Isn't that true? You stop it, sissy. Oh, Papa would have approved. A minister, leader of the people, a fine, honest, upright man. Only you picked a married one. I don't know what Papa would have said about his wife, do you? You listen to me, sissy. Whether you believe it or like it, Richard and I are going to be married. Caroline! What do you really know about this man? All I need to know about him. Caroline, uh, listen. What? Caroline, you better be careful with a man like that. What do you know about a man like that? 
Nothing. I guess I, I know nothing about nothing. That's why she wants the house. You and Richard. No, because of everything I've done for this place. This house is mine! Maybe so, but you and the Reverend, you'll never live in it. No one is going to stop me from living in this house. No one's going to have to stop you. You're going to stop yourself. What? Didn't it ever seem odd to you that only Mama died in that fire? What? There were 200 people in that church when it burned. Why is it that only Mama remained in her pew? What are you talking about? She didn't want to get out. She didn't want to escape. I'm not going to listen to you, Frida. Frida, Frida, don't. No. Mama hated this house. She hated her role as maid and mammy, and she came to hate Papa. That is not true. They loved each other. When Mama was pregnant with Sissy, she did everything to try to abort. And Papa, being the upright Christian, he said that if she got rid of his seed, he would kill her. He wanted a Lovejoy Jr., but instead he got another girl. You see, I knew I was... Nobody ever wants nobody, girl. You have to want yourself. Stop it with your filthy lies. Papa put on a front. He put up a front as a good husband, but he hated Mama for what he called her betrayal. Get out of this house with your malicious mouth. I don't say I haven't lied sometime in my life, but here and now, let's bring in the truth. Truth. Truth about Papa, about Mama, about the Lovejoy family, about this awful house. I don't want to hear it. Well, you're going to hear it. I'm tired of living with lies about how, how good Papa was and how good his life was and how good this house was. Don't you dare! about your minister. I saw you coming out of the church. We were going into the parsonage, me and him, and we weren't going to pray. Liar! Another night in this stupid house. She wants it, she can have it. Where are you gonna go? New York. How are you gonna do that? With whatever money I got. What about you? Well, I have to wait till Danny gets back, then I'm gonna leave too. You take care of yourself, you hear? You too, Frida. Don't go, sissy. You know Papa meant this house for all of us. I hated it before. You know how I feel now? Relieved. Sissy. But can you really walk through that door without even telling me goodbye? Goodbye, Caroline. Never forget this. 
this, Rita. Never. I hope not. You spoil everything. You gotta believe me. I didn't know. Well, he knew. Well, let me say this for him. I don't want to hear. He, he didn't make the first move. First move? Second move? What difference does that make? Frida, I mortgaged the house for him. What? He needed money, and I didn't know what to do. House. Frida, I don't want you to leave me here alone. Please stay, Frida. Don't leave me here alone, please! I can't stay. Why can't you stay? Mama? Mama? Oh, hi, Mama. Where you been, boy? I've been waiting for you. What? I, uh, I took the boy fishing, Frida. You what? Took him fishing. Oh, uh, look, I wanted you to help with these things here. Where we going? Um, I'll explain it to you later. Okay. Well, I don't want to leave here. I like it. Since when? Since Eddie, Mr. Craven. He's going to take me to see a basketball game. Hey, Aunt Caroline. You ever seen a worm on a hook? It, it looks... Wiggles? Is there anything I can do? Oh, yes. Take us to the station. I gotta get those tickets before 10 o'clock tonight. Well, where are you running off to this time, Frida? What difference does it make? Well, because I'll take you any place you're going. You what? I blew a chance 13 years ago to see Detroit. I don't want that to happen again. Oh, boy! Detroit! <laughs> I'll get the bags. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're going to be a big man someday, but for now, why don't you get these two and I'll get these two. <laughs> we'll, uh, wait for you outside, please. Goodbye, Aunt Caroline. Goodbye, Danny. Goodbye, Caroline. Goodbye, Eddie. Goodbye, Eddie. Rita. Please stay. I can't stay. You've got to live your own life. It won't be so bad. Turned around by a man. Two. If you killed Papa. Papa sold you on the family name. Lovejoy. Now that's a joke. Because if there was ever anyone who loved Joy less, it was Papa. Now I'm not putting him down. I understood him. I just didn't buy his policy. Now, he made you worship his house. So you've still got it. Right up. I need you, Frida. You don't need me. You don't need anybody. You'll work it out with your preacher just like you worked it out with Papa.
shouldn't have come over. I wanted to call, but... But I had to see you. Carol and I... After we... Well, since last night, I've... Is it okay? Can I come in? Yes. There is uh, no one here. I would have come over sooner, but all day I've been seeing people, calling on people, those who place the money, and and I got it. Callan, we have the money we need. You got the money? Yes. Then we have more than we need. I did as you asked, Richard. I mortgaged this house. I have the check. Oh, Carolyn. Richard! Richard, why did you want her? You had me. You had all of me. Why did you need her? Callan, you... Callan, you've got to believe me. It wasn't her. I didn't want her. You'd accuse me of using you. You walked out on me. I, I was out of my mind. I thought I'd lost you. And then when things go wrong, you just search for somebody's bed, right? Anybody's bed. I deserve that. It was a mistake. I'm, I'm sorry. I apologize. Will you apologize to my sister, too? No. I don't know. I feel like... I don't know. I, I can't explain it. There is nothing to explain. It's over. Over? I will never see you again. What? As long as I live, I will never be able to look at you without doubting you. If you feel that way, that I'm just a... Uh... A hypocrite, a, a liar. I can't face the people. Carolyn, if you can't believe in me, I can't. I can't preach. I can't take office. I don't want it. I can't. Oh, yes, you can. You can and you will. You will go to that church and you'll preach. And you'll even take office. I only hope that you do it well. And honestly, maybe then I can, I can find some meaning in what I, in what we fell for each other. Richard, please go. I won't give you up, not for one mistake. One mistake, you can't throw away what we have. Good night, Richard. Look at me. Look at me. Rich! I love you. And you love me. You can't send me away, Carol. Leave me alone, Richard.
could leave. Oh, <laughs> no.